client or a teammate keeps on looping me out in an email thread. And it loops, sorry, loop, loops out my teammates or a manager in an email thread. When I respond, I include my manager back in the conversation in that email, but she takes her out again when it's her turn. How do I manage this? Before I answer this question, this is where I have to emphasize, this is why sometimes I prefer group chats than emails. Why? In group chat, you have all the evidence if someone leaves the group chat or someone was taken out of the group chat. That is more on stealth on email. In emails, it's hard. Sometimes it can be tricky to find that out. You've been emailing each other and you didn't notice someone was taken out of the loop. Especially when the email thread contains 20 or 30 people, it's hard to check each and every one. In group chat, you will easily see a notification that says, Jonathan has left the chat group, right? So sometimes when you can, if it's a critical conversation, I would prefer a group chat compared to an email thread. But let's assume you have to stick it out in an email. Here are a few considerations. I will send a spill. I'll say something like, Benny, I am looping back my manager in this email thread so that we are aligned on the same page immediately as we are working from home. Kindly ensure that she is looped in the email in your reply. This way, I am not insinuating that she has dark agenda for looping her out, but I need to take her seriously. So I want to talk to her head on and say, you have to loop in my boss. Can I get an exclamation mark? So these are the kinds of conversations that you cannot do passive aggressive way. You have to take on head on, talk to the person, say, I need my manager to be in this loop.